Recently, I saw an ear, nose, and throat doctor. She was shocked when I told her I use a 7 millimeter internal diameter tracheostomy tube. The physician said that was too small of a tracheostomy tube. She said I should be using at least a 7.5 millimeter tracheostomy tube. Thankfully, getting a 7.5 millimeter internal diameter tracheostomy tube was relatively easy. I was able to order one online. Last week, I had my appointment. The doctor changed out my tracheostomy tube from a 7 millimeter internal diameter to a 7.5 millimeter internal diameter. These are the changes I have noticed since increasing the size of my tracheostomy tube. Breathing through the tracheostomy tube. I immediately noticed how much easier it was to breathe through my tracheostomy tube. Air seemed to flow effortlessly through my tracheostomy tube. When the physician connected my tracheostomy tube back to my ventilator, I did not notice any difference using my ventilator. The machine seemed to work the same as it always does. Talking. My ability to talk diminished. Since more air is being directed in and out of my tracheostomy tube, it is much, much harder to push air up my airway and through my vocal cords. I have to use a lot more muscle strength to speak. This makes me very tired. Coughing. Coughing and clearing my secretions using a larger size tracheostomy tube is more challenging. It feels as though the secretions are getting stuck at the level of my tracheostomy tube. I am constantly trying to clear my throat and cough to get rid of these secretions. Since the larger tracheostomy tube is taking up more room in my airway, there is less room in my trachea for secretions to be coughed up around my tracheostomy tube. Breathing through my nose and mouth. Since the larger tracheostomy tube is directing more air in and out of my tracheostomy tube, less air is going through my nose and mouth. This is not a big deal when I use my ventilator, but I do disconnect from my ventilator to do things such as go to the bathroom. With more air going through my tracheostomy tube, less air is getting hydrated by my nose and mouth. My airway quickly starts drying up and hurting as soon as I disconnect from my ventilator and heated humidifier. Cuff inflation. With using a larger tracheostomy tube, the cuff on the tracheostomy tube does not have to be inflated very much to create a seal between the tracheostomy tube cuff and the tracheal wall. I only have to put in about 3 to 5 milliliters of air compared to 5 to 7 milliliters of air I use with a smaller tracheostomy tube. My one concern is that since the cuff requires very little air, it can be easy to overinflate the tracheostomy tube cuff. Overall, I could not tolerate the larger size tracheostomy tube. I was having a lot of issues speaking and clearing secretions. I switched back to the smaller tracheostomy tube. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. When I had my tracheostomy tube exchanged last week, I really wanted to film a video using the new larger size tracheostomy tube so people could hear the difference the tracheostomy tube made. However, I could barely speak and I was having a lot of coughing episodes. I decided the video would be very hard to do because my voice would be very weak. I decided to switch back to my smaller size tracheostomy tube and film the video so I could speak better and you would not have to hear me coughing during the entire video.